Hi guys, welcome to Computer Edit Design with for basic drafting too. Last week we have done a, an AutoCAD tutorial where you guys completed a drawing on a basic object and also uh, we did we did learn about a basic to computer uh, to a dimension right and few more so for this week we're going to learn more about uh, drafting right so in the end of this uh, lesson you guys should be able to control about utilizing layers and then uh, we're going to learn about loading and apply line types, how we are going to edit a line type and apply to the this line and use it in uh, in technical drawing. And then uh, we're going to learn about application of line weight. You guys learn in architecture graphic where the, the line in a technical drawing need to have a line weight, need to have a thickness. We have 0 0.2 pen, 0 0.1, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, and even 0 0.8. So, so for today, you guys want to learn about this line width and apply in a technical drawing. And then uh, we're going to talk about utilities, AutoCAD utilities. Even though we're not going to for the advanced level, but we're going to learn about those that, that are basic for technical drawing. And then finally, you guys learn about the, the drawing scaling. All right, first lesson today is layer. So you can find a layer command here, right? It's under home. And here you will see the layer properties, then off layers, isolate layers, freeze, lock, make current, and so on, right? So before we go to all this, first, uh, let's go to the layer properties. Click the layer properties. So this is a layer menu, right? You can change the, the layer position here, which is docking, Right, or you can dock at the side, right, and so on. Right, so for now, just make it a float. Okay, so uh, so this is where actually uh, we're going to create all the layers and uh, do lots of setting on layer here. All right, so uh, the first task is to create layers. Click the layer here, new layers. Right, so this is how to create layers. Right, so layer is uh, one of the important element in computer edit design, or uh, or we call it uh, architecture gra drafting, because uh, in technical drawing the the drawing will be complicated. The bigger the drawing, the more complicated complicated lines that you will find in the in the drawing, right? And then um, we the, all these lines need to be grouped and separated according to the function. Right. This is very important, especially uh, you're thinking of editing the, the drawing, right? And then uh, most important is uh, the layer also, we can apply the line width by using colors to the each layers. And then we also can apply line type for each layers. So this will make uh, our work much easier, right? Uh, and more organized. All right, let's begin the first task, which is uh, creating layers. So uh, by naming the layers, right, we're going to na name each layers according to the common uh, layer name in AutoCAD drafting. All right, the first one, let's name as walls. And once you have done, just press enter. The second one, name as grid line. Enter. Third one, just name windows. We have windows. And we're going to have doors. We have dimension. And we have uh, what else? Toilet. We have furniture. We have text. We have hatches. All right. Okay. 
Uh, these are the common uh, layer naming in uh, uh, computer drafting, right? But with this, uh, you can add more than this. Example, probably you will have about toilet one, toilet two, toilet three, or probably furniture. You you wanna we like to uh, make a group of furniture, right? And then probably you have people's, okay? Uh, even doors, probably you, you will have a few type of doors, windows, uh, common doors. Right. So you can keep adding all the, the layers name here. Okay, the next task is to color the layers. Right. Why do we need to color the layers? Because uh, each of this function here, it means that we work with the line thickness. Example, walls usually refer to 0 0.4 or 0 0.5 pens. Grid lines, always uh, about 0 0.1 pens to 0 0.15. Windows and doors, we work with 0 0.3 pen, pen. Dimension also 3 point, 0 0.3 pen. Toilets and furniture also 0 0.3 pen. Tax uh, always about 0 0.5 pens or, or 0 0.6 pens. Right? Hatches, uh, we work with 0 0.005 uh, pen. Right? So uh, how do we separate this? Is by applying colors. So walls, we always apply with red colors. So colors in layers. Right. So, uh, or we say colors in uh, technical drawing. Please use colors from zero to nine here. Right. They make it separate here on purpose. Right. So, uh, please use it here. Why? Because all these uh, zero to nine uh, colors we refer to zero to uh, nine pen thickness. Warning: Please do not use any colors from other colors in that here. Right. Do not use color index here, or else you will get confused. Right. Probably the, the red color pro probably almost similar with this red color here, right? Which is it, right? But then uh, when you apply the color uh, on the setting later, right? We're gonna have another task which is setting the red the the line the line width. Then it will not appear. The thinness will not appear on the drawing because you did not use the zero to nine here, right? Okay. So please. The color in layers, please use it zero until nine here. All right. So color for wall will be red. Grid line, please select the dark grid here, uh, gray here, right? Or index color eight. Window, we're gonna use yellow color. And same with doors, also yellow colors. So yellow colors will re represent zero point three pan. Dimension. All right, dimension, some using yellow colors and some using uh, magenta colors, right? So it's up to you, right? I think I just stick with uh, zero, uh, with yellow colors. Toilet, uh, usually always associated with uh, magenta color here. Cyan, sorry, cyan color here. Furnitures, usually with magenta colors. Or 0 0.3 pen. Tax always associated with a green colors or 0 0.6 pen. And last one is hatches. Please use the light gray or 0 0.9 colors, right? Sorry, or nine, uh, nine in that color nine. All right, there you go. So uh, please do this, all right? So please create the layer here. And please create uh, apply the colors according to the layer. All right, as you can see here, uh, we we will have uh, some function on the layer. Example here, there is a bulb symbol here. This one actually you can turn on and off the layers, right? You can turn off the layer. It means that once you turn off the bulb, it means that the the layers will not appear in the drawing. The second one is freeze. So once you click freeze, it means that uh, the the line or the layers, right, will not uh, will not be able to be edit. You cannot edit. You cannot delete anything, right? And then we have lock. Lock also the same thing, almost similar with freeze. Just that except that lock, uh, the layer will uh, appear sim uh, same as uh, as it is. But then freeze, the layer will look uh, will appear gray colors. The next one is plot. If you click this one here, 
right? It means that that layer will not be plotted or will not be printed on paper. You might see it on the computer or on your screen, but then once you print out, it will not appear. So this always become a mystery to student when they print out, all right? And then it did not appear, but then uh, when I check their layers, it's actually checked like this, right? So what happened is they, they accidentally click the printer here, right? So please be careful. All right, the next one is line type, right? So this is where we're, we're going to learn about uh, line type later, right? So right now the default is continuous line, straight line. Okay, then later we're going to change all this line type. All right, that's it. Okay, let's go to the next one. All right, after we created the layers, now let's try to draw a line using the layers. All right, first, uh, this is uh, where the, the layer will be changed. We can change the layer here. Right? As you can see, all the layers that created will be listed here. All right, so let's try with the layers dimension, the colors. Okay, and then let's try with another layers, uh, furniture, magenta colors. Let's try with the next one, three lines to dark gray. And then, we try with the hatches line layer. Text layer, which is the green color of 0 0.5 to 0 0.6 pen. Layer toilet cyan colors, which is also a 0 0.3 pen. Layer walls, 0 0.4 or 0 0.5 pens. And then layer window, which is also uh, yellow colors. So we just create by colors here. <coughs> all right. So all this layer can be changed to the next layer if you want, but then we're going to do that later. We can change the, the line here to another layer by selecting the line here and go to the layer level here and choose the layer that we would like to change into. All right? Try another, another time. Example, layer color yellow here to dimension layers. We select and then let's say I want to change it to a toilet layer. And that's it. Now we tend to turn the layer. We can do the setting on each uh, layer while uh, on the model space. Just yeah, simply select the layer that you want to do the setting. Example, uh, layer of furniture here, right? Button of the layer. And then just click the bulb. As you can see, the layer is turned off. I'll try that one, probably with the layer green color here. I click, and then the green color is turned off. Let's make it on again. All those functions that we look uh, that we see in the layer property also appear here. In front of the example, on off layer. Just click the, the function off and then and then just select any line that refer to the layer. Right? Is that for this one here? Okay. So with the rest, right? Freeze, log, make current, and so on. All 
Okay, the next uh, part of our lesson is a line type. So we can change a type of line on each uh, line that, that on the drawing here. And we can use a layer for that. Right, example here, a grid line. Right, so grid line usually uh, refer to a long, right? So when you click the line type here, so uh, then we will get the select line type menu. As you can see right now, currently, you only have a continuous line. So to get the another type of line, we need to load the line type. So please click, click load and choose all the type of line that we're going to use. So for grid line, we always use long dash, short dash. Okay, long dash, short dash. Okay, click the line and load the line into the um, menu. All right. Once it is loaded, select the line again and select OK. All right. So as you can see right now, uh, the grid line has changed into long dash and short dash. All right. So uh, to test this, please uh, select all other line, right, with uh, with the other line type that you want to use. For example, magenta. magenta Look with another type of line type, long dash or dot. Select long dash and dot, long dash dot, and select OK. Now, the magenta color of furniture has, has changed to another line type. Hatches, right? Just look with any type of line for exercise. Maybe long dash, maybe dash, dash with triple dot. OK. Then select the line, click OK. Right? Drive with the wall line here. Load the line. Right? Maybe long dash, double, short dash. Long dash and double, short dash. There you are. And load. Okay. All right. Then. So, once I've done, then all the layers, there you are, as you can see here. <clears throat> so as you can see here, right, the line type is still quite small, right? You need to zoom in to see the, 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 the line type, whether it works or not, see? So to change the scale of line type, please type in LT scale. LT scale means line type scale. Press enter, and maybe we, you can improve this into five, and enter. there you are. Now the line type has appeared. So that is how to use a line type in Orbiter that side. The next lesson will be uh, how do we control a line weight in computer design. All right. So uh, we have created lines with colors and layer here. And then the next task is how to how do we apply line weight or line thickness for each line for a uh, technical drawing. All right, there is few ways of doing it, actually. There is few ways of doing it. Uh, one way is actually by using layers. And then we can apply the line width here. Example, let's say if dimension, right, we can click the line width and apply at 0 0.3 pen, right? The machine in yellow colors, which is 0 0.3 pen, right? So you can do this as well. However, this, uh, there is a few risks when using the line width here. First, uh, the space or the RAM space that required for the AutoCAD will be higher because the line width will be shown uh, on the model space here. All right, and then uh, there's another way of doing it, which is uh, apply the line width on the page setup. All right, so let's go for the another way. So click the icon here and click print the arrow and choose page setup. All right, and then modify. Right. So, uh we're going to use the plot style table or pen assignment here, right? So usually the, uh, the professional office, like 
uh, architecture firm or interior firm, usually they, they have a special plotting machine for AutoCAD, right, for technical drawing. So those special uh, plotting machine, they require a plot style table, right? And then this plot style table can be saved according to uh, the line thinness that require compared with the, if you're using layers, while we change the layers, then it's going to be fixed, All right? So how do you use this? All right, so uh, first, change the, the plot style table into a cat CTB here. Choose the ACAT CTB, right? And then asking, assign this plot style table, table to layout, yes, All right? And then we're going to modify the plot style table here. And then we choose this button here. Okay. So uh, one option uh, that, that that we need to use, right, uh, when using the plot star table, first we need to save the the file into our names, right? So that it will not be confused with the rest others, right? So first thing that you need to do is save as the plot star table into your name. So I'm going to save this right into my name here, and of course yours, please save into your your name. Because uh, there will be a, a few light in the setting that we're going to use, right? right? It's as my CDB, you can see here, right? So please save yours as well, right? Okay, now this is where we actually we change the, we're gonna, uh, the pen width, the line width using the pen color, right? Okay, so please uh, follow the step. First, select the color, right? So this is red. So red always uh, refer to 0 0.4 or 0 0.5. Why I said 0 0.4 or 0 0.5? Because all this line thickness sometimes depend on the type of drawing or the size of the drawing. All right? Some drawing, which is an uh, example like detailing drawing, sometimes we, we are using much uh, uh, thicker lines sometimes to show the, the, the difference of the line thickness. All right? Same and same with others. All right. So first, select the lines, uh, the colors. A second, go to a uh, color here. Please choose black rather than the, the object color. Do not use object colors. Because if you use object colors during the printing, it will print out with the with a actual line of the, actual color of the line. And that is wrong. You must remember when printing, the color must be black. What is different is actually the thickness of the pen. All right, so please choose black and then go to the line weight so and pick up 0 0.4 0 to until 0 0.5 so i will use 0 0.45 All right and then go to the next one color 2 which is yellow color yellow color will be 0 0.3 pen or until or 0 0.3 uh, or 0 0.4 same things the color must be black All right and then go to the line weight, choose 0 0.3 pen. Go to the next one, which is yellow, right? Again, choose black colors. And the line weight, line weight yellow, usually about 0 0.6 pen. And then cyan, cyan usually for toilet, all right? So use object colors, change into the object color have to be changed to black, must be changed to the black. It is a must. And then go to the line weight, all right, 0 0.3 pen. Right. Blue colors, 0 0.5 usually, change into black, and object line weight change into 0 0.5 until 0 0.6. And then we have magenta here, color here, usually used for furniture drawing. Same thing, change to black colors. And with 0 0.3 or 0 0.35, it's up to you. All right, I'm going to choose 0 0.35. And then we have a black color here, right? Color 7, which is black. This one, always 0 0.2 pen, right? So change black and then and it will be 0 0.2 pen. Okay. And then we have a dark gray, color number eight, right? So this usually uh, 0 0.1 pen, okay? 
object color will be black and then line width will be 0 0.1 pen which is here right and finally color number 9 change to black and line weight will be 0 0.05 here or you can even use 0 0.09 so once you have done save and close and then let's go back here again can you find yeah there you are right asmadi ctb right play again at the and use asmadi ctb why we use a, a separate name or separate setting because as i mentioned just now sometimes different type of drawing or different size of drawing require different set of line thickness right how do we know which uh, light thickness and what the set of the light thickness? Usually that requires experience because actually a uh, technical drawing is actually a, a, another type of art, right? That, uh, that uh, for, uh, and it is uh, for us to, and it's our task to make it look beautiful, right? So how do we look, how do we identify uh, beauty in a technical drawing? Well, that requires experience. Alright, so I'm going to use asmadi.ctb here. Alright, so assign this block style to all the out. Yes. Alright, here it goes. And you can uh, click here display block style. Alright, so let's see uh, how it looks going to look like. So we're going to start to print this. So let's go to the next one. Is Yeah, we need to choose the printer first. Alright. And look for AutoCAD PDF high quality. Right. And then go what uh, to what to plot. Pick window. And I'm going to pick the line that we created just now. Right. And then don't forget, pick to paper and center the plot. And let's look at preview. And there you are. So as you can see, we, now uh, the line thickness is appeared here. All right. So all this line thickness is important for technical drawing. Uh, whereby if you did not do the line thickness, did not apply line thickness according to a correct uh, line function, mark deduction will take place. Right. Uh, your mark will be deducted accordingly. So that is important. Right. And let's click OK. Close. All right. Okay, the next one we're going to learn. So the utility we can find it here. Click the utilities, right? So this utility is actually a, a, an essential uh, support function for AutoCAD, right? And it is quite important, especially the measure command here. So click the measure command here. Then you will find a distance, radius, angle, area, and volume. So uh, in a measure, you can uh, check any distance distance here, from here to here all right there will the distance of the line or space or place will appear here right so this one is 2187 millimeters right or you can also uh, measure other things example like uh, area or space or for the floor pan right you can click any area of space right when you've done the space bar and then the space of the area will appear well this one is actually 53 53,559 uh sorry 535,595 millimeters square right and also the rest right. so other than that uh 
they have a quick calculator yeah for calculation and they even have a, okay just leave about the id point here right you can change the point star the cursor they're using right for all other cursor and also the size of the point size that you're going to use all right but uh, I would advise for you not to change anything or else uh, usually we will get uh, confused. Right. And uh, for the last lecture today, uh, we will learn about the drawing scaling in AutoCAD. So uh, as I mentioned uh, on the previous class, in AutoCAD, when we draw in a model mode here, right, we're going to draw the object, the lines, the anything is will be in a one-to-one -one scale, right? We do not draw uh, draw object in a scale like you did. We did uh, in a manual drawing. Example: If it is a manual drawing, let's say you need to draw a, a, an object one to one hundred scale, then we start measure getting the one hundred was one hundred measurement. And then start to draw according to the scale. But that's not happen in AutoCAD. In AutoCAD, everything must be in one-to-one -one scale. Right? Must be in one-to-one -one scale. What we're going to change uh, next is only during the printing. All right. Example, if we, let's say we have uh, an A4 paper, the size of 210 times 297. We did this before. Zero. 297, 210, C close. All right. So this is size of actual A4 paper. Right? And then let's draw a bit of a uh, boundary. Okay. So don't, uh, don't, uh, don't ask me again. Have to draw this because this is actually our first, second, and third exercise, right? Just to draw info paper, all right? So this is a uh, actual info paper size, and compare with this one, the line. I don't know how your lines look like because this actually uh, is is drawn without any scale, right? So probably yours are smaller than this, or probably much bigger than this, all right? Okay, then uh, so the question is. How we're gonna fill in? How we're gonna fit in the size of this drawing here into this A4 paper? All right. So this is where the scale will take took place. Okay. So uh, the next task. So where we're gonna change the scale is will be here. Click the icon and click the print. All right. Continue into plot a single sheet. All right. So whatever that we're going to do, the scale changes will happen here. Plot scale here, All right? So uh, if we turn off this, then as you can see, we can change the scale of the uh, drawing object to whatever that you want, we want here. We can change to 1 to 100, right? Or we can change it to 1 to 50. Okay, so that's how it works in AutoCAD. Okay, okay so uh, let's preview this. Let's say we changed, uh, we want to print this into 1 to 10 scale. Okay. And go to the preview. All right, so as you can see, the lines look bigger right compared to the original just now right let's change this again is to probably once is to uh what's the 50 at a smaller scale again so as you can see the line will be smaller because there is once to 50 scale all right all right so let's begin the play uh, using scale. Okay. We need to see 
what the actual or the most suitable size for the drawing. So just do the selection, briefly uh, select the, the drawing, and then click the fit to paper. Fit to paper mean uh, the drawing will be nicely fit into the paper size like this. Right? So when once we do this, then we can see the scale here is about 1 to 9.7 to 9 scale on the fit to paper. So what can we do now? We can change this into actual or more uh, precise scale. So it means that the nearest scale will be 1 to 10. And let's do the preview again. There you are. So this is actually 1 to 10 printing. Okay, let's cancel this. Okay. Okay, so uh, now let's get to our my question just now. How are we going to fit in the paper into uh, the line here? Right. So obviously the answer will be we need to scale up, right, or make the A4 paper here bigger. So how much the size that we're going to fit in? So as we can see just now, right, the scale is one to ten. So the best way, uh, so so to do this, just scale up the F4 paper into ten. So press ten, and there you are. So this is the best size for the drawing that we're doing right now. All right. So that is one to ten. So let's say you need to uh, draw. Uh, you, need, you need to print anything, let's say 1 to 100 scale or 1 to 75 or 1 to 10. So what you have to do is scale up the paper, uh, the paper and the boundary, the actual size. If it is A4, then just draw the A4. If it is A3, and do the A3 size, right? And then scale up the, the actual size into the scale that we need, like this one here. So just now, the, this we need to print in 1 to 10. So we just scale into 10 and then we got this, right? And then let's go to the plot again or print. Right? And then choose window. So to print this, you must remember, right? You need to choose from boundary to another boundary. So you did your real exercise, isn't it? All right? So there you are. Boundary. So we need to change the landscape. All right? And then we got 1 to 10. All right? Oh, yeah. Turn off the fit to scale and change into 10. Okay, uh, please change the A I ISO A4 paper into ISO full bleed. ISO full bleed A4 paper. All right. And then preview. Okay. Continue. And there you are. Okay, guys. So uh, more about this, we're gonna learn. The, we're gonna learn during our tutorial uh, for basic drafting too, and that's it. Thank you.